Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trade Wounds RV Center here to congratulate you on the purchase of your Palomino pop-up. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. So let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. Main thing I need you to take into consideration is where your power and water connections are going to be. Power is going to be all the way at the rear on your driver's side. And your city water connection, the camp water connection is going to be just above your tire. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive, first thing you do is level your unit. Lefty for down, right to bring it up. Once you got your unit level, next thing you do is stabilize it. In the back of your unit, empty stabilizing jacks right here. All you do. Pull out on that and down. Once that clamps in down, push your foot down. To bring it back up, we press in on that. Do the same thing on both sides. Get your unit nice and stable. Once your unit's level and stable, we'll hook up our power and water. Back to your unit here, you have this 30 amp service. Your cord stores right inside there. At the end of that 30 amp, if you need to plug in a home, your convenience pack has a 30 to 110 adapter. Get your power hooked up. Let's hook up our water. So up here is our fresh water connection. Or excuse me, our city water connection. First and foremost, your water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in your unit because you don't know what the water pressure is at different campsites. Hook that up. Hook your hose up. Just that simple. On the inside, you will pull forward on your handle to get water out of that. Now let's say we're gonna go camping and we're not gonna use city water, we're gonna go out dry docking somewhere. Well, in that case, your potable water tank. Simply fill this up with a hose, no need for a water pressure regulator. But you can tell it is full, is an overflow valve right there. Once that's full, do the same thing on the inside with your water pump to get fresh water. Well, it covers your hookup. Let's go ahead and open up the unit. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go around to all four corners and unsnap all these. Got them all unsnapped. Open your door and grab your hand crank. Come to the front here. Simply start cranking to the right. So as you see, as you continue cranking, everything folds in or folds out. Continue cranking her up. You feel the tension when you're all the way up. So these will be bent a little bit, Just straighten them out. This is where you'll open your door up, snap your door in. Also, we're gonna go inside real quick. And we're gonna snap our door in at the top here. And we're on the sides. Take a look, everything's out. 
Now we're going to go inside again. Go straight across the wall. And this wooden piece, we're going to push up against the wall and slide that metal clamp over it. And then you're going to plug these in for your power. Come back out the unit, we're going to pull the ends out. Now we're just going to fold this flap to hold your bed and pull it straight up towards you. Once that's out, got these safety bars here. Now these are going to hook up here. Your smooth end is going to go in there and your round end down here. Line this up, lift it up, set it in there. Same thing over here. Get in there, line this up. I just lift up with my back, set it up in there. Now we pull our canvas out and around. Now you have a couple straps. These long strings, pull these over. Sorry if these angles, some of these things are hard to do one-handed. Like that, repeat the process with the other one. Come to the back. Open it up the same way. Flip this flap down. Grab a hold of this, pull it towards you. Once you're out, we'll hook in these safety bars. Hook up the same way. Round end here. Slide it in. Up in there. Put the other one on. Hook your strings up. Hook your canvas up. Now let's head up inside the unit. We want to show you, we got a couple of 110s here. Quick connect LP over here. So storage. Coming up inside the unit. So then we got our canvas down on. I'm gonna grab this bar, leave the curved end here, face it up, round end. We'll go right inside here and push up. That's up and out. Took this piece under there. Just put your cushions up here. Along the back here. Take your kitchen area. Flip that up and in. Pick your griddle up and set that up on top here. Back here on this is a quick connect LP. Repeat the process on this bunk down here and set your table up. I'll finish that up and we'll show you how the whole unit looks set up. Now with everything set up, we're gonna look like this indoors. Let's walk around inside the unit and show you a few things. So you'll pull this forward for water. It's your water pump. underneath here is your gas lighter turn that to light light it with a stick lighter that locks in of course you can fold this table down put it on this bottom bunk or bottom piece here and it'll turn that into a bunk bed <laughs> inside here you have your drawers and your access to your storage underneath same thing here, more storage. The fridge is underneath here. You have access to this storage as well. 
nice place to keep your hand crank easy to get a hold of from there all right so let's act like we're leaving the campsite and close the unit up now what we have to do is we make have to make everything flat in order for everything to fold in so i'm going to start by folding your bed down or your table down down there back cushions down here that's how you'll set up set that up for a bed so down here we're gonna remove all these cushions just lay them on the floor down here stack up nicely here so with this piece here we're gonna take your grill off right down here now this whole thing will slip forward there's your quick connect LP for the drill now we're going to come to our ends we'll release this do the same thing on the other end Pull it out, release it. Lay this down here. And head outside the unit. Get that metal piece to tuck down. Down in there flat. Keep the process down here. Got them down. Now we're gonna release our safety bars. See if you lift up with your back. Release those. Now you also have springs here that snap in on the other side. Canvas holders. We will release those. I'm tough one handed here, sorry. Hold the there. Once those are done, we lift our canvas up. Come around, I'll snap that Velcro. Get the process up here with our strings. Except they're snapped in the sand. Turn our canvas back in again. We're we'll going to get in the middle here. Push our bed in. A little hard to do one handed. Let me get that pushed in for you. Now we're gonna come inside. We're gonna unhook this door here. That's gonna allow that to fold in. When it cranks down. From the front. Start bringing her down. Fold in. This side, make sure that's going to go in for you. It looks like it is. Continue cranking down.
going down good here. We'll continue cranking it down. So one last thing I've forgotten. This piece over here on your off campsite. Get up top, slide that over. That's gonna allow it to fold in now. Now we'll crank down the rest of the way. See how everything folds in. So as you're cranking down, as it continues to fold in, keep folding our canvas in. We will lift this part up. Looks like the bunk needs to go in a little bit further. That part will lift up, lift up there. Same thing back here. Make sure we're all tucked good. The farther up in there you can push that, the better it'll lay. Pull that piece up and continue cranking her down. Continue coming down, continue this process till we're all the way down. Once we've got her all down, we're just going to go around the corners here. Set that in like so. Close down from the front and snap our corner in. We'll do that on all four corners. Bring up our stabilizing jacks. Unhook our water. Unhook our power. Hook up our hitch and head on home. Again, we thank you for the purchase of this Palomino. Hope you enjoy it for many years to come. Happy camping.